Kim Kardashian has it all, except a loving partner to share life's journey with. Apparently, being sexy, beautiful, rich, and famous while working towards a law degree isn't enough to secure her perfect relationship. Or could it be that Kim is a hopeless romantic who settles so that she can have love in her life? Keep watching to find out. Her first high-profile relationship was in 2000 when Kim Kardashian eloped with music producer Damon Thomas. The beauty was just 19 years old, marking a 10-year age gap between her and her husband. The two were married for three years before calling it quits. Later, Kim would regretfully reveal that she and Damon tied the knot the first time she ever got high on Molly. She called it a wild phase in her life. After she made her comments about the marriage, Damon shot down the claims that his ex-wife made, calling their relationship young love. You don't stay married to somebody or be with somebody for four to five years and it's just based off of you getting high off of ecstasy. You know what I mean? That doesn't make any sense at all. Even though Kim's love life was off to a rocky start, she held on to the hope that she would find her soulmate. Next, Kim Kardashian's infamous relationship with musician Ray J. They met in 2003 when the media personality was doing some styling for his sister, Brandy. The couple went on to date for three years, during which they made a sex tape that catapulted Kardashian into the spotlight when it was released in 2007. Kim later admitted that the couple had made the tape during one of the few times she took Molly, which she says is blatantly obvious watching the video back. You know, and that's something that I'm going to have to live with for the rest of my life and have to explain to my children one day. Although Kardashian's relationship with Ray J ended in 2006, their names have continued to make headlines. In 2018, Ray J made claims about the former couple's sex life, including details about their marathon sessions. Kardashian shot down his claims on Twitter, writing that Ray J was a pathological liar. Yikes. Even after all the drama with this ex, Kardashian's journey never got easier. By 2007, Kim had sparked a romance with football player Reggie Bush. Their relationship was documented on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Fans watched the couple manage long distance while Reggie spent the football season away from Los Angeles. A year into the relationship, Kim told People Magazine that she thought he might be the one. I hope so. I think I finally made the right choice. He's just a really sweet, normal guy, the businesswoman shared. Fans thought for sure this would be Kim's happily ever after. She's finally going to settle down and be in a happy relationship. Unfortunately, by 2000, the couple had called it quits. They'd reconcile and take time apart again before splitting for good. Well, when you've been together with someone for years and then you take some time off, it's really hard. It's just a really tough time for me right now. The athlete explained that his busy schedule made it difficult to dedicate time to their relationship. The beauty would, once again, be on her quest for true love. As Kim reached her 30s, her dating life got more colorful. From all the relationships that year, it seemed the beauty was in a rush to find love. She came across former Dallas Cowboys player Miles Austin, and they dated briefly in the summer of that year. During season 5 of the family reality TV show, Kim shared a sexy smooch with one of her bodyguards, Shango Dean. She later called it the best kiss ever. Ultimately, their relationship was very short because Shango couldn't actually keep up with this Kardashian. Also in 2010 came husband number two. Kardashian started dating basketball player Chris Humphreys. Their relationship moved quickly, and despite some significant differences, like concerns about where to raise children, the couple got engaged after just six months of dating. In a proposal captured by the Keeping Up With The Kardashians cameras, the basketball player popped the question in the couple's bedroom, which was filled with roses. Oh, how romantic. By August 2011, Kardashian and Humphreys had tied the knot in an elaborate star-studded ceremony. It seemed like a match made in heaven, but as time went on, fans discovered that the relationship caused the beauty a lot of inner turmoil. While the pair's wedding photos were stunning, scenes from Keeping Up With The Kardashians later revealed that the lovebirds had been butting heads a lot in the days leading up to their wedding. Kardashian later admitted that during the couple's honeymoon, she realized their marriage wasn't going to work out. Just 72 days after walking down the aisle, Kardashian filed for divorce, citing the oh-so-familiar irreconcilable differences. The divorce was only finalized in June 2013. He's everything on paper exactly what I want in someone. But for some reason, my heart isn't connecting. I've tried and I've tried, but I don't know what to do. Kim later dished on why the marriage didn't work out, saying that she felt pressured to get married. Firstly, the whole relationship was filmed. Even though her mom, Kris Jenner, offered to help Kim walk away from the marriage the night before, the star felt she would let everyone down, including her fans, if she didn't go through with the wedding. And it just 
dawned on me. Like, why am I so concerned to make everyone else happy and not myself? When news dropped of the Kardashians' divorce, many began speculating that the whole relationship was fake. Of course, it wasn't, and the failed marriage broke the beauty's heart. The businesswoman explained that the show paid her and Chris to film their wedding. She took all the money and spent it on wedding preps. I used all of our production money on the wedding, so if that was, like, fake, I would have saved my money, Kardashian shared. While going through the tumultuous divorce proceedings with Humphreys, Kardashian could lean on her longtime friend Kanye West for support. West always had a thing for Kim, and after years of friendship, the star finally gave in to his advances. The beauty knew how Ye felt about her. The rapper even bought his first cell phone just to call Kardashian and tell her not to marry Humphreys. However, Kim was hesitant at first, and oh boy, were her instincts right in the end. The couple were married for six years, and during those years, they welcomed four children. In that time, the parents also cemented themselves as an iconic fashion couple, always making headlines for their street style and red carpet looks. They appeared to be the perfect match, but things aren't always as they seem. By January 2021, Kardashian had filed for divorce after she and West reportedly argued and fought a lot. I thought, oh my god, that's when we're getting along the best, but then that is sad to me. The news was devastating to fans because after watching all the heartbreak the beauty endured, all we wanted was for our girl to find her Prince Charming. It took two whole years for the divorce with Kanye to be finalized. The end of the marriage put a massive weight on Kim K's shoulders. I feel like a f***ing failure. It's my third f***ing marriage, but I can't even think about that. I want to be happy, she confessed. And sadly, dating after her marriage to Kanye proved to be difficult for Kim. In 2021, the fashionista was linked to comedian Pete Davidson after appearing in an SNL sketch together. When Kim shared pics of her and Pete, the glow on her face was obvious. Like, just go for it. Find your happiness. Yeah. And like, I went for it and I took my time and I found it and it feels so good and I want to hold on to that forever. Yeah. Good. The star was happy. The relationship brought her spark back after a messy divorce, but Kanye struggled to let go of Kim. Kardashian's ex-husband went on full attack after discovering she was moving on and publicly degraded Davidson and his relationship with the socialite. The drama was highly publicized because West's attacks were all online. Eventually, her romance with the actor came to an amicable end. Kim confessed that she felt a lot of guilt after the split, since Pete went through a lot because of my relationship with Kanye. On top of that, the beauty stayed silent when Kanye was being a cyberbully just so that she could protect her children, but his actions really hurt her. And it's like, when is this ever gonna end? Like, it never will. And I'm stuck with this for the rest of my life. This was her husband, a man who was supposed to protect her and be there for her. The beauty's experience with romance hasn't been the greatest so far. In the season three premiere of The Kardashians, the brunette admitted feeling insecure about dating after all the drama with her ex-husband. I go back and forth in my feelings sometimes, like who's ever gonna wanna date me, Kim said in a confessional. Still though, she was hopeful to find love again. But my person is gonna be like, F all that. It's gonna be hard, but we're together and we're gonna do this. So I'm just waiting for that person, the beauty added. Kim's main concern is being the best mom to her beautiful kids. She's also been focusing on herself and finding new opportunities to help her feel happy and fulfilled. The socialite has been studying towards a law degree and using her platform to help others. In 2021, Kim helped a group of young female Afghan soccer players and their families flee to the UK after the Taliban takeover of the country. She has also helped free innocent people from unfair jail sentences and, most recently, helped pay off the legal fees of more than 50 mothers across America. Kim Kardashian doesn't want to give up on looking for love, but she knows she must put herself and her children first so everything else can fall into place. We hope she finds Mr. Right one day. Be well and be kind.